Good afternoon everybody, boa tarde, and welcome to our off-grid Quinta, Quinta Tranquila. Um, forgive my incompetence, but we, um, <laughs> I, I didn't film any of this, apart from the foundations, but this is the, this is the, the joist work for the, for the dome. Um, we've had two cracking days, um. Fortunately, my work is where it should be, best covered up, because um, we've had to dicker around with uh, packing up underneath the, the timber blocks. Now, the only thing I can think of is the concrete was too wet, so when I've set the blocks, they've slumped a bit. Well, <laughs> when I say a bit, what I mean by that, I'll show you when we get round here. Oh my God. <sighs> By that much. So that's about 75, 80 millimetres on them. <laughs> anyway, apart from that. So tomorrow we cut all these, these joists off and then we put on the the floorboards um it's we've yeah and it's worked out reasonably well with these fancy mitres these 78 degree mitres on two sets of different blocks different lengths but it's worked out okay it's actually we're not to cut and carve the mitres on these perimeter boards it's actually worked out very well um, and also as I say the floorboards will go down and then that will cover everything up which will be great so that's it that's the deck or is the underneath of the deck for our dome um, the guy that we've had was as good as gold. Um, very particular, which is, and that's not a criticism. Frustrating for me because I'm bish bash bosh, but fair play to him. He he had the control. I was just his labourer today, so that's fine. And yesterday and tomorrow, so we might be fighting in the in this ring. Me and him tomorrow. <laughs> Money kidding. We're not fighting. Uh, so there, there we are. Leanna's been really, really busy with olive picking. Um, again, that's something we wanted to get into, but because of the deck for the dome, she's been on her own, really. Bless her. Um, but she's made a start. I think we've only got about another 30 trees to go having done 14 of them. So, <laughs> no doubt I'll be getting roped in next week. So that's that's a bit of an update from us. So, cheer logo. Okay, okay, ciao, ciao. This is James's and Leopold's wee workshop. Or maybe that's Leopold and his apprentice. He's doing a grand job. Very precise. And the decking so far looks fabulous. Just have a look at that view. It's beautiful. The 
That is where the window of our dome is going to be, so we can just have that view. More things on this side. busy over the past two and a half days. Go a bit closer and have a look at the decking. Geht die nicht mehr aus? Äh, vielleicht, vielleicht, aber ich, I, I will mark it for sure. <lacht> Maybe just have to fix it. Yes, I hope so. Bring oh, it's out. It's too much now. No, you hold on. Okay, Steve. okay. Oh. Okay, I, I do other things. I fixed it there. Yeah. You want me up there? No, no, stay there. It's only provisorio. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know.
blöd, nein. Complicated situation because mm -hmm. if the oil is fresh, uh, it's it's not it's not dry really, and then everything on it it's not good. But no, I'll give it a couple of days. I'll give it a couple of days. Yeah, but then it, it becomes so wet overnight, mm -hmm. like today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it wants covering, doesn't it? With it, with the with the tarpaulin, with the sheet. Not the cat on. And here we are. The the dome deck complete. And it's a beautiful job. Absolutely stunning. Great job. I helped as well. Uh, there we go. Done a great job. Absolute belting job. Like I said earlier, my work is best covered up. That's a little fecker there, Leopold. Done a great job. Absolute belter. I was so so happy with it. No. Shatsy line? Mm -hmm. Is that my tea? No, my coffee. What? Yeah. I've been busy all day. Yeah, so have I. I've only just finished. What, what do you think? It looks really great. Don't you think? Yeah. Fabulous job. Could eat your tea off that now. Hmm? Could eat your dinner off that now. As long as you don't stain it with dribblings. Sieht richtig super aus, Leopold. Ja. Was ist das für ein Öl, was du benutzt? Ein Hartöl. Hartöl. Oh, das riecht aber gut. Ja. That oil smells really nice. So to keep the deck dry over the past few days, James had it covered with some tarpaulin, which did the job, and it was nice and dry this morning. He uncovered it early this morning to let it dry in the sun, ready for the oil to go on. Leopold is applying it with a brush to make sure it's got a good finish 
Yes. 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 And yes. Crossy thinks it's the best way, really, and a quick way to. It was shown because the other the one on. was very dry, and so. And James is rubbing it in it very fast. afterwards straight away because in the sun it dries very very quickly and gets quite sticky. So rubbing it in straight away gives a way better finish. I don't know if James has said before we use spruce from Austria for the deck. And our Portuguese wood eating bug shouldn't really be interested in that. Nice features in this wood, isn't there? Yeah. Actually, there is one that looks like a bit closer up. I can. It is really beautiful wood. Oh. Right, it's all finished. They, the two of them have finished oil in it. We leave it to dry for a little while and then we'll have to cover it up for the night because there's so much moisture in the night now that that wouldn't be good for the wood to just leave it out. So the two of them are going to cover it in a little while. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day today. You can see our camp down there is already in the shade. And this is where our kitchen and bathroom are going to go. I'm so looking forward to see that view from the window of our dome. <laughs> 